Welcome to Attack of Opportunity. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Attack of Opportunity. Today, I have a very special guest, and I have a co-host. Please welcome to our virtual studio, my wife's good friend, my good friend, a up-and-coming cast member, and today's co-host for Attack of Opportunity, Miss Ashley Florence. Thank you so much for helping me today. Thanks so much for encouraging me to come along. I'm really excited <laughs> to be a part of this today. Yes, and we have an interview coming up for Ashley. But since we know each other, uh, we're still we need somebody out there to sort of interview you on my behalf. So it's not a whole bunch of oh you, no you, no you, you. But yeah. speaking of speaking of, of you, jokes. A, lot, a lot of inside jokes. Um, today we have someone that I dragged off of social media from Twitter. She goes by dm to dm number two she's what i would consider an up and up and coming rising mogul in the twitter universe a fifth edition gm of dungeon dragons in her own right and is full of interesting tips and tricks for you to learn miss nicole tuttle is in the studio well the virtual stu studio with us today thank you so much for being on the show nicole Thank you so much for having me. This is really exciting. I, I, it's exciting for us. I hope it's exciting for everyone watching and listening. So to kick things off, the very, 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 very first question that we ask all that we have captured on the internet is, of course, how did you know that you were a geek, a nerd, one of us, one of us back in the day? <laughs> well, I, my fiance then my boyfriend of only a month always disappeared on Sunday nights and never told me where he was going. And I kept asking, like, where are you going? What, cut, what cut do you mic, do every Sunday? Is it, cut the mic. Is this, is this, is this is not uh, Jerry Springer. Just so we, <laughs> he's like running off to do something. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. He's cheating <laughs> oh, on yeah, you, yeah. but we have him in the back. Well, no, sorry for him, <laughs> for him, he was so embarrassed, but then he told me, he was going to play D and D every Sunday and I had never even heard of it at that point, but he didn't want to tell me cause he was like, this is a new relationship. I'm not sure if you're, if you're okay with that. I was like, what do you mean if I'm okay with that? Bring me next Sunday. I figure that should be like something you get out in like the second date. Right. <laughs> hey, I'm a D and -er. I don't know what's funny. I mean, it's <laughs> important to know that. That's I what know. I told my partner. Oh my I was like, hey, God. guess what? I'm disappearing. I hope you're cool with it, because if you're not, too bad. It's been in my life longer. Oh, no. That's <laughs> but great. yeah, so uh, he, he finally <laughs> brought me and got me involved, and I fell in love. And ever since then, I've been a nerd. <laughs> That's that's awesome. But I still don't know what's funnier. The, the fact that uh, Ashley said that that's a deep commitment to reveal that. So you have to wait for the iconic second date or the fact to use the term D and D or which nobody uses. <laughs> Who doesn't use that? D and D or it's gamer. Isn't it gamer? I don't know. My 19 year old son tells know. me tells me the hip terms and I just recycle them. All my terminology is way out of date. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I love that though. And so what was your, your defining moment? Was that it? Like joining the game that brought you into the world of RPG or did you have some sort of like, you know, inclination, something that maybe looking back now that you realize that you were always a bit of a nerd or a geek at heart. What was the gateway drug? Well, as yeah. Oh, the gateway <laughs> drug was probably improv. Um, Cause I did that all throughout high school, all throughout college. And then I showed up to this game night when everyone was playing D D and saw it was just a big improv exercise that and that's what i wanted i was like this is amazing why am i not doing this all the time so you're saying you and so then i did you haven't been doing this very long how how long have you been a gamer or before you got into like the tabletop stuff or into video games or anything else how long have you considered yourself you know a gamer into the genre i guess you could say it's, yeah, wow. I really wasn't into games much until about four years ago. That's when I started D&D &D and that kind of, that was opened all the doors. 
Um, but before that, I was very much, I was in sports and I didn't have time for video games. I, I never even held one of those controllers, like, you know, those Xbox controllers. I never even held one until my sophomore year of college. And what, what, so. what, what were you playing back then? What, uh, was it RPGs or on Xbox? Yeah. Well, my, one of my roommates said that I needed to start at the beginning and so had me play oh gosh what was it was it crash bandicoot <laughs> i love wow. that's the beginning i was I just like you need to start off easily oh no just a gentle introduction into the world of gaming yep and oh. i still couldn't do it <laughs> A lot of people who interview, they, they talk about a history of video games or a history of movies that got them into it. But it sounds like your interest in, in improv and acting and that type of thing um, just kind of dropped you right in, like right to the table. Is that right? Yeah. So yeah, it really did. <laughs> I happen to know that you're actually a GM or DM in the old old terms. What got you into DMing as opposed to just being a player, the being the, you know, the significant other at the table? Because we've had those, you know, so and so wants to come and you got this player and you're like, yes, this player's gonna be so great. And they bring their significant other, which is usually a train wreck because they sit there and ignore on the phone or they're just there for the camaraderie or sometimes it could be surprisingly great. But you like grabbed your man by the collar and went, take me now. And there you are. So you're playing, but how did you jump to the screen? Like, how'd you get on the other side? Well, we, a group of our friends, this was about a year into me learning D&D &D and RPGs and all that, the world that it is. And so a year after I started playing, one of my good friends, uh, Abby, she's probably going to watch this. So hi, Abby. She started a campaign with the idea that we were we woke up in this kind of empty hub of nothingness and there were different portals and the way she worked it out is every portal was a different campaign within it and so we had a different dm for every single game we just cycled around Ooh. and um every portal was a different world or a different time anything and it was really cool. So I dipped my toes in and did that one shot, my one portal. And I was like, ooh, I want more. <laughs> so that was my first my first chance. And then a couple months later, I ran my first long campaign. Seduced by the power of the screens. I've seen it so many times. It's a tragic story. But uh, from from what I've seen on your yeah. social media, like your know, friends and your players all love you to death. Everyone's been so encouraging. Which brings us to our next question. Sorry, you're over here. <laughs> I'm here. You're you're you're, you're, you're there. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. So, what uh, what made you get into creating your own content and you know bringing that knowledge and that passion that you have for um, being a GM or DM? Obviously, I'm behind on the terms, um, and and bringing that forward to everybody. Like, I'm very interested in it. I've always wanted to get on the other side of the screen. I know Jeff has kind of gently nudged me that way but i'm terrified to do it so what brought you forward to sharing that and making you know getting on twitter and all of that yeah well when i first started my my very first campaign as a dm i was finding myself trying to google things like oh what is a cool way to do this or because i didn't find everything i wanted in the handbooks and things like that and we were using some uh homebrew content too so i was just like how am I going to make this work? And so I was Googling and asking people and I just, I wished there was one place where I could go and have a bunch of different ideas and tips and tricks, things like that. So last year I kind of got tired of it and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to bring those DM tips to me. So I started this Twitter and I made it uh, with the premise that I would post my tips, but also any DM is welcome to DM, direct message, I guess, uh, to me, some of their tips that I would post, uh, obviously giving them credit. So that I've been doing that too. And it's I've gotten great tips already from DMs who are direct messaging me, telling me 
you know, I, hey, here's this really cool thing I tried. And then I get to put it up on my page and help other people just like me. Oh, that's good. That I like that. Amazing. Yeah. You're not only retweeting, you're saying mm -hmm. like, so. So are you, are you, um, I think the last time I checked your feed, you're almost like at a hundred, a hundred, uh, tips and tricks as it were. You broke almost a hundred. How long have you been, um, tweeting this stuff? I started in September in of September. last year. So not quite a, not quite a year. And that's DM wow. to DM number two on Twitter. And we have your adorable um, avatar up here on the screen in our YouTube version. So this is also a vodcast, people. Like I said, you're, I know you're listening to the podcast, but if you'd like to see and, and meet almost face to face and some see some great artwork, um, may I ask who actually drew this for you? Yes. Oh, gosh. Hold on. I have their name in here. <laughs> I should have had that ready, shouldn't I? I have commissioned probably 10 pieces of artwork in the last year. So that can be addictive. I'm just trying to remember which artist. Cause I, I like to go to a bunch of different ones to get a bunch of different, um, you know, styles. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I've been trying to find. Is, is this a uh, picture we're looking at? It looks like a wizard, a wizard S or a sorceress. Is this the sort of alternate ego of yourself or is this a character you play or is this an NPC that's like, come, come adventurers. I've got more work for you. Like something like that. Or is there a story behind <laughs> that this picture? one is all me. That's all you. That's this is oh, yeah. You. Yep. The story behind that, that that's all me. I sent uh, this artist whose name I will find hopefully very shortly. I sent her <laughs> a I sent her a picture of my face and said, hey, I would love me as a DM with like maybe a magical role, like D20. And she was fabulous and sent me a great oh, picture back what, as it's you a, see. It's a golden D20 that's giving off light and spire, I, like a snitch. Yeah. I, sorry, I just thought we had like the little the little light ball going there, but I can see that now. That That's really good. Oh, yeah. You know, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm just going to superimpose this. We're going to bring this right up. See that? See that, everybody? See the D20 there? Okay. All right. <laughs> I just <laughs> made your picture really huge <laughs> for a second there because I missed it the first time. Um, and this is your this is your avatar on Twitter. And uh, that's probably why I missed it because, you know, they get everything so tiny. So, so, so tiny. Right. Um, so do you prefer DMing over playing or do you miss playing? I miss playing. Um, luckily, right now, we have two campaigns going in person that we play around the table. Um, so I get to do both, which is really good. Okay. And, uh, but yeah, playing obviously has a really special place in my heart because I'm, it's an acting exercise and that's so exciting to me. I'm, I'm, I'm making eyes here at Ashley on the screen going like, next question's yours. You know, and you're, you're, Nicole's filling in the gap for us. <laughs> and I've lost where we are. So, sorry, 4A, four, four read 4A. <laughs> I was trying to set you up for four question 4A. Four A, four A. So, so, okay, ready? Yeah, go. You're editing this, right? <laughs> no, not the video. It's all it's all you. It's all you, girl. You go. Hey, you got, you got this. This is me in real life, everybody. Uh, all right. Um, so you said that you miss playing, and I can totally appreciate that, being strictly a player. Um, do you have your own favorite, you know, class, race, alignment? Like, is there something you gravitate to consistently um, that maybe GMs in the past tried to shake you away from? Speaking a little bit from experience myself here. Yeah, I, I always gravitate towards magic users, uh, sorcerers, warlocks, particularly they're my favorite um i i think every time that i'm coming up with a new character i'll be like but how how can i be a sorcerer again but make it different <laughs> and my fiance's the... like no 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 try something else <laughs> like, but what the, if the, i feel you the arcane and, and caster. Hear me out here what if sorcerer <laughs> Ashley's go-to character class is a druid that she made and we had switched campaigns and she switched res and make another druid and another druid and we found an archetype called the reincarnating druid 
if she could get to fifth level, then the character could just reincarnate. And she came up with this mountain oh, wow. lion, a mountain lion for a companion that we called Roxy. And it's a cougar. So then the cougar joke started and this cat started mauling the young men in their sleep. And anyway, and then she'd reincarnate or we switched campaigns. And then the joke became that the cougar is going through druids as opposed to the classic like, oh, no, I have a ranger, I have a druid and I've lost my companion. They need another one because DMs usually hunt them down and kill them. Um, and that's the joke. But you'll see, you will see Ashley's druids, a plenty and Roxy coming up. I mean, I believe we all already have a Roxy Roller t-shirt t -shirt but... out there. <laughs> coming up Roxy rollers. yeah so um yeah. where do you um where do you find yourself tweeting the most like are you just coming down from a game session and you get an idea and you get inspiration it's like oh bam and boom out comes the phone you're tweeting or you know are you in the bathroom like most of us boards go oh, i got an idea you know are you driving down the street you know what do you want police i'm i'm a, I'm a twitter mogul i you know I got this. I got this. It's good advice going on in here. Please, I don't yeah. want to take it. You know, where, where does this come from? Where, where does it hit you? <laughs> no, Any time no, you <laughs> Give me one moment. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I'm i definitely the one that after a, after a session, I'll be like, oh, you know what would have been great? This thing. And then I'll share what I've learned with some other people. Or I'll remember things that we do, kind of house rules. I know I've shared a couple um, of my personal house rules on twitter before we're like this, this is something we do and we enjoy it so maybe you will enjoy it <laughs> like um i think one of the most recent ones i just shared is something that we created um and called the dm points um so inst it they're different than inspiration we we do it a little bit differently so inspiration you get those like you do and you can use those to re-roll but with dm points you get those for really funny moments. Maybe like if you break the DM and the DM has to leave the table to cool down for a minute oh. <laughs> or just really good RP moments, something like that. It's it's not really good in-game things. It's good, you know, the players did a good thing, not necessarily the characters. And uh, so we give those out. Are these and... for brag are those for bragging rights or can you cash them in like a oh I don't know, GCP bottle cap or like a hero point in the in the system or yeah, you can. Yeah, we, we use them. Yes, we use them very much as you can spend these points to get a DM nudge in the right direction. Um, so kind of like a voice in the sky comes down and says, you're oh. going the wrong way. Oh, sorry. DM inspiration. I just I, read I, that. I, 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 yeah, I got, sorry. I got you. I... Yeah, so uh, oh. we, we like it a lot. And it makes everybody at the table a little bit more willing to be a little crazy because that's how you get those points. Like um, my fiance got one by creating a jingle that his character would sing every time he killed someone. So. Oh, <laughs> can we hear that? Can we hear that? And yeah. like, oh. <laughs> can we have that live? Can you get, I don't I, think I, know, I remember. I, I, I know he's lurking. I know he's lurking. Can we, can we bring in. He is out there somewhere. I'll I'll give him a I'll shoot him a text. Get, give him a nice come in. Get up here. <laughs> give him the jingle. Yeah, um, we'd love to hear that. Yeah. While Can we I... wait for him though, um, so how many how many games do you have like and whatnot? Like how many do you have on the, on the go? And you said your fiance podcast. Mm -hmm. He had like how many does he have going? It's a lot to juggle, and I'm always interested in what people are doing. Yeah. Um, I currently have two uh, in-person sessions um, that I'm doing right now, and I'm already planning for the one that I'll do when I move back to uh, my college town to go get my master's in the fall. So I already have that one planned. Uh, my fiance does two different podcasts. He is in one called Another Path, and which is an actual play podcast and then he's in one called zach and griffin's multiversal pet shop where um him and griffin their friends zach and griffin they will pick monsters from the monster manual and discuss what it would be like to have them as pets 
Oh, that's good. I like that. Oh, <laughs> I like that. Fun, fun, I gotta get fun, gotta gotta, gotta, <laughs> gotta find like, that one. I just I was thinking like, and his favorite movie is Little Shop of Horrors, and and on it goes. Um, I was gonna say I might find a replacement for Roxy after all these years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So, um, we were talking off air about um, you getting gaining popularity rapidly on twitter and you get your thousand and and then twitter tweets you and goes oh my god you know you got a thousand followers do you want to share this or whatever you know and uh, when i got mine when i broke a thousand or uh, 15 or whatever what it was and twitter notified me right it's got this little it's like the facebook birthday you know you forgot somebody's birthday you should tell them right i didn't think it was for me i was really tired off of work and it's like somebody got something and i should congratulate them oh, okay you know and i'm pushing buttons or whatever and that came up on my feed right uh and it's like oh oh that, that really we, we we did that oh great wow you know i was i was so so blown away i was like oh, really that many you know um, you were talking about a promotion because you are rapidly approaching how many? 2,500. 2,500. 2,500 Woo. followers. Woohoo! Yeah. Woo um, we have a really cool promotion in the works. I am working with uh, the DM of Another Path. And basically, I'll put up a tweet once I reach that follower count. And all you have to do is follow both pages and retweet to enter. And we'll randomly choose somebody and whoever the winner is will get to be in another path um, as an NPC who's named after them. They get to play or they get to That's do so this, cool. this walk on cameo no, or you're no, just no. saying they, like they'll, you'll send them no, information they, and they. Just their likeness. <laughs> oh, I see. Yes. Yeah, just their name and their likeness gets to be um, portrayed by Chase, the DM will uh, play them as an NPC in one of the. One of the games, probably the next, uh, the oh, next that's cool. two week one after the winner's chosen. Yeah, that's neat. That oh yeah, really yeah. Awesome. We we got to register. Ashley, it's like, can, can we go in as like a pair of people? They're just like walking around arguing. Can we register together? Just what's just going on? Absolutely. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so I'm really uh, excited about that um, because for the last couple milestones, I've been doing dice give giveaways, which everyone loves dice giveaways. But yes. I uh, wanted to do something a little bit, uh, a little bit special for this one because it is such a big number. Yeah, we were going to do a dice giveaway, and I what really I thought like we'd it. do is we've been buying the official Paizo dice for the Adventure Pass, so we have a podcast called Dice Before Dishonor, an all Cavalier party with one samurai running through Pathfinder's War for the Crown, and there are these really cool official War for the Crown dice. And when we get through th six books and three years of podcasting, it's like. I don't want to trophy this, you know, I, I want to give it a, you know, I want to give it to somebody um, so that someone can geek out the way I geeked out when one of my, one of my closest friends, Braden Woods, found me at like a James Bond lighter and somehow got his hands on a real poker chip that was used in one of the James Bond movies as like a prop. And he got his hands on one and mailed it to me. And I was just like, oh, yeah. You know, it's so great, you know, and it's like, oh, what I, I want to give it a love for it. Maybe there's somebody out there that would like my dice, you know, when I'm done with them and send those off. Um, right, right. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, so that's awesome. I, I've oh, lost our place. A, that's to, a really what, cool what, idea. I like qu that. What question are we on, Ashley? I think we're on nine. You take this one. I think so. Go for nine. Do you attend conventions? <clears throat> Pardon me. Wow. That was a really deep and dark voice. <laughs> Do you attend conventions, Nicole? That's Saturday, that, that's like second date material again. I also <laughs> attend conventions. Uh, yeah, and where can we or find gatherings you? where fans can meet? <laughs> where can we yeah, find I, you? I have not attended a convention since I started this Twitter. Um, so maybe in the future. Right now, I'm trying to move, and so I'm saving money for moving a couple states away. Um, so I haven't really been able to do that yet but i'm hoping in the future uh, if this twitter continues to grow the way that i hope it will i hope maybe at some point that i can in fact uh, go out there and actually meet some of the people that i interact with daily well we were certainly drawn to you awesome. and, and that was just from your tone on you know alone meeting people in person or meeting you in person um do you mind if we ask you you're talking about your master's degree what are you studying for we'll get into some more personal questions i'm going back to yeah, I'm going back to get my master's in theater. 
Ooh. Uh, awesome. So, yeah, I'm going to be a master of theater. Yes, yes. <laughs> Always good for behind the scenes. I found the, I found the artist's name. Oh yes, yes, Yay. please, please. <laughs> Got to credit the artist. Took me a while, but I found it. All right, so it's Christina Amon. So A M U A N, Christina Amon, and they were so wonderful. They listened to all of my crazy ideas and made it happen. And I could see them. So, well, why don't you send us a link? And when we do the, when we post the credits Absolutely. with this episode, with the music and everything, we will put Christina Mon's website in there for commissions, mm -hmm. and then she gets some love. Perfect. And, and you know, more than just just us going, oh yeah, we we like that. That's uh, earlier Mond. That's very good. Yes. <laughs> get her on her way. Go get yes. her way. I will definitely. I'll send you that link. <laughs> but yeah, sorry. I just wanted to make sure that we credited that artist. <laughs> Yeah, no, of course, uh, of course. I, I think uh, that's a really fantastic. Oh, Jeff and I are queuing each other up. I was gonna say, I think that's a really fantastic idea to have an artist actually create a rendering of yourself or your character. I think that it's really personal, so that you're not just trying to find inspiration elsewhere. You're bringing it from within, and I think that's amazing. And that yeah. there are artists out there that are, you know, happy to do that, which is really cool. For, for right. the right price, and it's so. <laughs> It's so, um, you know, we, we're all in this together, all of us content creators and uh, out there. So giving support when I can, that's really awesome. And then, you know, I get awesome art out of it. So yes, it's a win-win. Yes. And that's why we're interviewing you because we att we um, start Attack of Opportunity. It's like a fun behind the scenes look at us, you know, and we rapidly been going through um, musicians and content creators that have like, given us music for free and we promote them uh the cast the auxiliary cast and it's like well that's only so many episodes you know somebody said what are you going to do when you run out of you know the in-house stuff and i was like um uh, i will search scour the net and and find you know really delightful people to interview and hopefully give them a little boost and have people find out a little bit more about them now um, because personally what I found on the net is you gotta be pretty big before people take the time to like, oh wow, you know, like I, I'm, I'm really becoming something. Um, here's my story. Here's my interview. Here's my backstory. Here's, you know, all about us and how we do this. And people go, wow. And it's like, well, why not get that a little earlier? You know, when you're, when you're mm -hmm. starting out and the momentum is starting going and you're super excited, um, because I love meeting the people that are completely floored that we ask and interview them. And we've worked with just about every level and talked to about every level of of content creator out there. And um, even the ones that you think would be too big to give you the time of day, you know, they say, oh, this is really great. And, you know, I'd love to help you. But they're just like, we're so busy at this point. They're touring around and, you know, and it's, we're like, ah, you know, miss the chance, you know, but they're such nice people. They always give back to the fans. They always take the time to to reach back to you and say, oh, I see what you're saying. This is great. But I, you know, I'm just so sorry that the time, the you know, that kind of thing. So we started yeah. going after not just people that, you know, are not so big. They, they obviously must have the time, but just anybody and everybody that we're witnessing engaging the community and boosting the community there's a lot of big people out there that i wouldn't bother pestering and there's a lot of little people out there that just come off as rude or whatever and there's some people that are no one mm -hmm. and no one knows who they are and they're they're on social media twitter and everything and their attitude and what they're putting up there their content is so positive and so enjoyable to to witness to view to listen to to watch to read and it's like these are the people that we want to well attack if we have the opportunity. Um, <laughs> so I guess we're, it's a little soon to ask about you if you have any merchandise, you know, <laughs> she, she got a dice giveaway coming up. Uh, we'll have to p pester um, Zach another time for his jingle, you know, even though <laughs> it might be loading, loading. Um, yes, yes. Ashley, is there anything, anything else you'd like to ask Nicole? You've been a great co-host. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> no, nothing off the top of my head. I'm actually quite engrossed with your Twitter feed. Like, everyone get on it. It's, <laughs> it's started, like, she started ignoring like, the person I, I will, and got on the feed right away. I, no, I was like, I'm not ignoring you. I'm just like, I'm learning more about you as a as a person just through your Twitter, right? Like, I think I think that's amazing. And I love yes. that you're going for your master's in the dramatic arts. Um, it really it really shows that you have that really artistic flair. And uh where do you where are you so studying? glad that you decided yeah Pardon? sorry sorry wait where are you studying nicole 
Oh, I'm going to Bowling Green State University in Ohio. Oh, no, you're in so Ohio. That's, okay. Uh, that's where I'll be in the fall. We, we don't want to give up the yep. stalker, the stalker dress or whatever, but just a region people love going, oh, I'm from this state or I'm from, you know, that kind of thing. That's great. Well, right. yeah, Ohio. We've Woo. been, been going, going, Ohio. <laughs> That's that's a bit of a stone throw from from where we are right now because we're actually interviewing you on the net via the web, but home base is is Canada and um, Ashley's about a half an hour drive away from me in her home. But that's the wonderful thing about the internet and social media is you just reach out and you know get some video going. We've been talking with Ooh, Nicole yeah. Tuttle at on Twitter at DM Dungeon Master two T O D M number two having fun, giving great advice, listening to other people and spamming their advice and, and getting, you know, getting credit for it. Is that, is that wrong? No, 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 sure. I'm sure, I'm sure you have an amicable relationship <laughs> with all these people that you're, you know, but that's really cool. Hey, if somebody doesn't private message you and say here, which they're obviously doing, you know, you're just retweeting stuff and going, Hey, I like this retweet, retweet, retweet. Um, but that's great. I love the picture. Um, you're adorable to listen to and read the tone that comes through is what I really like. There's a lot of people out there going, I'm a DM, I got this many years experience and you should do this, you know, and your your open approach going, hey, I've been doing it for a couple of years. This is what I like. This is what's working for me. And, you know, try this. Maybe it works for you. My favorite tweet, I think it's number 93, is where you were talking about voices um, because it's quote unquote oh, yeah. some, something that I was trying to get across to uh, some of our more shy cast members about, you know, they're like, I don't do an accent. It's like, no, 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 it's not all about so and so and his accent or whatever. It's just talking about changing your speech pattern, lowering your voice, raising your voice, just doing little, little tiny tweaks the difference between, hey, exactly. I'm, the I'm the player, I want to do this, and, and this is my character, um, and just messing around with it. As opposed to that generic, oh, right, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm Sir So-and-So, that everyone just falls into their first time. Um, and it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how long or how little you've played. Are you having fun? Are you trying new things? And are you open-minded enough to take some really good advice from a great lady? Nicole, thank you so much for being on the show today. Thank you. Well, I did want, I want to leave you with one of my favorite tips that I've ever posted. Oh, yes, please. Um, if, you ever, if you're ever looking uh, to homebrew or create your own world and you're trying to think of uh, what your landmass or map might be, take a piece of paper, squirt some ketchup on it, fold it in half, open it, and there's your map. Oh, <laughs> that's good. I love that. Delicious and nutritious. You I've get hungry and start. Before. <laughs> you, just, you could just lick yourself a peninsula over the one side there. There you go. That's, that's filling out the coastline nicely. That's exactly. good. That's great. We're running through. I promise I have other tips that are a little less unorthodox, but no, no, that's no, one that, of my that's favorite good. ones. We'll hear more. And, you know, <laughs> in six months to a year, you know, when you're on, moving on to other projects and, and working with another path and everything, we would love to have you on the show again in the future. Mm-hmm. But I'm afraid that's all the time we have for you now. I so. would love that. Thank you. Oh, good. Thank you. Yes. So, say goodnight, Ashley. <laughs> well, thank you, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> goodnight, everybody. <laughs>